Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to Friday. And on Fridays, I like to relax and just talk to you guys and have fun and clean up my base. Oh my gosh, this mess. So if you've never played Lumber Tycoon 2, and if you've never subscribed or liked or commented, do so now. Do, do this as like your first video you've ever commented on. Be like, Code, long time fan, first time commenter. And you might even get a, like, a response from me. Uh, I do read all the comments and I try and heart as many as I can because nobody else can heart those comments for you. Just me, just little old me. What are these? Are these hatchets? No, these are rusty axes. That's a hatchet. It's a plain axe. Are these my originals? Oh, have I found the original base axes? That is crazy. Okay, so we need to look around. Um, what are we sorting today? We are going to be sorting the rookie axes, right? And I don't have any more rookie axes out and about. So, um, let's do this. These are beta axes, so these can go right over here. And you need to scooch in just a little bit, a little bit. We go. Can we go over the top of this thing? <gasps> we cannot. <sighs> so what are you doing here? I mean, are you, are you here for the lumber content? I hope so, because that's what I'm going to save Fridays for. We are going to play lumber, relax, and have just a, a time to escape our everyday lives and take time away from the hustle and bustle of every day, which is good. It's good to relax and play games and have fun. In fact, I would say video games are the best thing a veteran could play, especially if you have PTSD or if you have any kind of trauma. It helps you to concentrate and relax. And hold on. Oh. <laughs> no, not today. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe a little bit later. It's a way to relax. It's therapeutic. It helps you learn. Video games are not bad or evil. I, I don't know how people still have this idea that limiting screen time is beneficial and now um, Instagram has a new parental mode because apparently Facebook was hiding um, sorry meta has been hiding research that shows Instagram is detrimental to health development I'm not, is it is it though I mean I can absolutely see Instagram TikTok. Um, What's the other one? Snapchat. I can see a lot of these becoming detrimental to one's like self image, body shaming, and all this other stuff that goes on with the comments and the Instagram. That's it's probably a too big of a subject to talk about here, but I can absolutely see that becoming a problem. Why is there a spoon in here? Why do why do I have a spoon? Um, excuse me, sir. You need to go outside. This, this is an axe shop, not a spoon shop. Same with the eyeball. Get out of here. What are you doing? Mm, that's not good. Christmas lights are stuck up there on the ceiling. I thought I was going to have enough axes to do like two rows of end times axes, but I don't think that's the case. So I think we might just move these up. And while I'm doing that, I'll talk about other things. Uh, so... Both of my children tried to convince me that they didn't have school today because spring break is starting next week. And me and me and my wife were like, we didn't get any kind of message from the schools saying anything about taking a day off. So that's going to be a big fat nope. So to my kids who are currently in school while I'm on my lunch break, Hi. <laughs> oh, I gotta look through Twitter and see if uh, Hope retweeted this or not. 
like kids get to get to work get to school what are you doing i'm gonna go ahead and open the box i know i probably should keep it in the boxes for higher retail value but here's the thing i'm never selling these axes i've had so many people come to me and like code please let me get an axe let me buy this axe from you don't i don't sell them these are all fans giving me axes. Hi, Dad, if you're watching. I mean, you might not be watching, but if you are, I love you. I thought I'd say it out loud so everyone can hear. If you look down in the comments and you see that my dad is posted, give him a wave, say hi. And by the way, his name's Dwayne Haskins. He's, he's in the comment section down there. So, good guy. Good old man. He raised this old man. Tick tack. No, tick tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Um, by the way, I do have a tick tock. And for the most part, I try and keep that one pretty clean. But, uh, you, you know, it's not, it's not my lumber. It's not me YouTube. YouTube's clean. YouTube, I keep it. Nice. We always have a good time. Which is also why I have a second channel for the more gory content, for the more adult content. And that's, that's not meant for like, <clears throat> if you're a little kid and you're watching this show, right? You're watching this channel. This is where to stay. When you grow up, okay? Just saying, I have a second channel and I, I play like Call of Duty, Fortnite, some other things, but that's over on the other channel. And yes, it is linked to this channel. <sighs> Same awesome content creator, unfiltered. Is this a candy cane axe? Oh, <gasps> it's a candy cane axe. I probably should just open up all the presents, shouldn't I? These heads, they need to go out. You, did you sneak in here too? That's another spoon. This is this is not a pumpkin shop. We do not sell pumpkins in here. This is, and it's not really a shop either. It's now a like an axe museum, an emporium of axes throughout the years. So I've given a lot of thought to um, doing the karaoke's on Fridays, okay? And here's the thing. Because we usually have karaoke on Fridays, I usually skip out on hanging out with like my brother-in-law, going skating, taking my kids places. So I've always said this, and I think it's, it's definitely come time karaoke Fridays is going to come to an end I'm going to officially announce it and I have had questions um, especially Hunter if you're watching right now Hunter was asking are we gonna fill it with something else like are you gonna have um, uh, custom matches in Fortnite or VR with fans and to answer the question no because that was the whole point I wanted I'm pulling that time back for me and for my family so I'm going to fill it with family time. And hopefully the kids agree because uh, they're teens and I can't convince them of nothing. <clears throat> Just saying. Can we move this a little bit? Is that, it's definitely not enough light. But, I mean, I would like to figure out something else for uh, like live streams and stuff like that. Just have to think about it. And I'll get back to you. I, I don't know that we're going to... And it could just be a phase, you know? It could just be where we're at in the season. Um, but I have discussed it inside my Discord. and Man, I can't get that thing to stick anywhere else. It's, it's like it doesn't want to go on any wall. Here, hold on. Can we rotate, turn, rotate? Rotate, turn...
man this is this is turning funny rotate turn there we go give it a little bit better light that's not right in the center is it oh and it's not going to be dang it just a little bit too wide for the wall but that's fine as long as it provides some light it's really glowy over here but I think that's because of the uh, the lumber shop the the tech shop the lab yeah see that's why it's so glowy over here got all this stuff set up on a on a timer and this one's set on a timer too turns on the lights and I'll glow to the extreme a rock a mic <clears throat> sorry vanilla ice he was the rapper whenever I was young. Good old days, long ago. Should we pick up all the ember axes? Where are we gonna put them? I wonder. Do I need to make more shelves? I think that could be the problem. Your backpack is full, okay. So maybe, well here, we, we still have like an entire top half up here. So let's, let's do that. Let's go ahead and start stacking these up here on top. Ooh, that looks so cool in the blue. Do you guys see that? It's pretty, it's pretty neat. I remember a video, uh, I think it's about five years old. It's called Nature Walk. And it's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Funny guys. Oh gosh, I wish I could find their channel now. I bet they're still out there somewhere. Mm. This tree right here, it's called an aspen. You can tell it's an aspen because of the way it is. What? Oh. But I digress. There's more things in the world now. There's a lot of funny videos out there. But here's the thing. I will go and watch meme videos. And I mean, I did a reaction over, I think it was on my other channel. It may have been on this channel, but I did a, I did a reaction on, uh, maybe it was Zero Decaf Coffee. And I tell you what, I don't know if I've just become desensitized to the humor that is memes, but they're not funny. Like a lot of them are just stupid. No offense. Like they are just dumb. Maybe that's me growing up. I don't know. I, I take pleasure in, in any kind of fart joke or pee joke. You know, <laughs> but it just, it's not the same. Maybe, maybe the memes are dying. Maybe they're like a fad. I, I could be wrong. I mean, don't, don't quote me on this, but hold on. I don't see any more amber axes, so I'm going to go kind of nudge these that direction. Pat, pat, pat. Nice. Nice. Okay. Next up, chicken axes. Let's go grab all the chicken axes. Oh, oh no, no, no. I don't want to move the floor. <laughs> I can't believe we're almost got this whole place cleaned up. That's crazy. I do get bored with cleaning though. So, <gasps> another spoon? Oh, it's a little spoon. <laughs> Sorry, not a spoon. These are all sporks. They are spoons and forks. Inventive ideas. <gasps> I did miss a candy cane axe. Dang it. And my backpack's full. Dang it again. All right, turn, twisty twist. 
There we go. Okay, we were doing beta X's out to the side here. Do we have enough room to do chicken X's chicken on the back? Let's see. Alright, come on, get out the way. There we go. Ooh, gotta kinda turn that one around. Turn the axle around. No, it's turn the beat around, isn't it? Turn the beat around. Turn it upside down. I think we played that in band. Joey would know. Joey was a bit in band with me. Me and John. John, Joey, me. Samson, if you're watching. Now, if I just happen to mention your name, it's just because those are like some pretty common names, but those were my friends in band. We played, uh, played saxophone. I played the alto saxophone. I was very good. I think I mentioned that in my uh, Draw My Life video. Man, do you remember those trends like Draw My Lives and uh, the SketchUps and stuff like that? And now we've got these big guys like Jaden Animations doing her thing and the odd ones out doing his thing. Oh my gosh, you th those are some talented, talented animators. Just saying. Do I have one Bezax? Okay, we're gonna kinda give it some room, but that piece X is going to go right here in the middle. That way I can still stack on this side. Look at that! Another candy cane axe. We need to get the bobbly heads out of here. I know I was stacking them earlier, but they gotta go. Silver axes. Ooh! Friend request. I have 496 friend requests on, on um, Epic Games. That's a, that's a lot. It's a lot of people. Boop. Alright, we're gonna put silver axes right up here. Not that there's any kind of order or reason. Just, I want them out of the way. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Nice. And, I, I did find something out. So, I think I may have figured out the reason you guys like my base cleaning episodes. Wait, what happened there? Oddly satisfying. Or mildly satisfying. Have you ever seen those videos where it's oddly satisfying videos and they, they like cut sand with knives and stuff like that? Kind of weird videos to me. But... They are oddly satisfying. So, seeing all of this, this organization, I think that's what is like moving you guys. What is that? Is that a rusty axe or is that? Yeah, that's a rusty axe. I thought I had rusty axes put away. Did I not? No, amber axes up top. Where do I put rusty axes? Looks like you're going right up there. Oh, got stuck in the wall. That's why it's rusty. Somebody left it inside the tree stump and it rained on it. Rusty axe. Silver axe over here. Nice and organized, nice and clean. Man, this might have to be the the last axe shop cleanup video I make. I mean, we are getting really close to the end. Um, this is just a plain axe, so it'll go at the bottom over here. Any of my basic axes that I started with, like basic hatchets, stuff like that. Here's the steel axe. I wonder if that's the other one that I started with. Plain axe, steel axe. Could you imagine? Oh, the basic. So, just imagine this right here. 
is the original basic hatchet. I don't know if that's true. That I used to start my journey in Lumber Tycoon 2. Again, I don't know if that's true or not. But imagine that is the axe. So, in the comments down below, how much would you pay on eBay? Hypothetical. For that as an NFT. I don't, I don't know if you can buy NFTs from eBay. There you go. Josh, can you take this model of the axe, place it as an NFT, and put a signature on it? I don't know if that's how NFTs work at all. <laughs> I know that I've got a couple of NFTs. A lot of people are despising NFTs, but as far as me, I think they're kind of cool. I mean, I think it would be amazing to have um, an actual like dollar figure value on stuff inside the game. <clears throat> Isn't that what Team Fortress has been doing this entire time? Isn't that what, what Steam does with their, their items and objectives? I mean, the world's getting all upset about NFTs and we've had them for years. We've had these virtual items that don't actually exist that people still pay thousands of dollars for. There's a great, great book that I will recommend. And this is, this is for your, your recommended code primates reading list. Okay. It's called play money. And I don't remember who wrote it. Hold on. Let me go take a look here. Book play money. There it is. Okay, so the name of the book is called Play Money, or How I Quit My Day Job and Made Millions Trading Virtual Loot. And I will I will pull this up for you guys just so you can see it. <clears throat> fade, 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 fade. So that's the title of the book. It's called Play Money or How I Quit My Day Job and Made Millions Trading Virtual Currency, Virtual Loot. So I'll leave it at that. This book, I don't read. I don't like to read. This book had me enthralled. I mean, literally. I was just floored to hear how this guy was like making money selling virtual currencies. And then to find out that there were these farms, like the, the World of Warcraft farms over in China, that that's, that was their day job, is they had this script where they would take a character, start him out, run him through all the basic stuff, and get him up to a certain level, and then pass that character off to somebody else that was in the department. And those department people would take those characters and give them specific gear, get them set, and then set them out to just go and farm gold all day long. The value of gold in the virtual world, that like the gold pieces, was more valuable than the currency that they were using in their, their country. And again, I don't know if this was China or somewhere else, maybe in Taiwan, Philippines, I don't remember where it was. But think about that. Selling off the virtual gold online for dollars, which converted into your currency, holded, held more value than the gold that you were collecting. That was the best day job you could have had. Now, it is against terms and services. All right, we'll talk about rules like that because you technically, you cannot buy or sell any of this stuff for actual currency. It's in Roblox terms and conditions. It's in there. Terms of service, it's called a toss. If it's outside their trading system, it's a no-no. What is that, is that a silver ax? We have a place for you, sir, right there. Right this way, Mr. Silver. Your table of six is ready. This is a little sad. I mean, I'm about to put away 
the last little bits of uh, axes. Now that's not entirely true. There is still, dang it, there is still a buttload. <laughs> what is the measurement of a buttload? <laughs> there's still there's still a ton of uh, axes out there. Oh, that was kind of cool. Did you see that? How all the axes are like <gasps> wave. We did a wave. They're they're doing the wave. Dang. Do I have Twitter axes anywhere? Doesn't look like I have a place for Twitter axes. So, top shelf, opposite side of Amber Axe. Let's go. If we ever make a YouTuber axe, I'm gonna have to change that. I think that might be a little long. Okay, it's fine. Here's another basic hack. Ba basic, basic hack it. It's a hack it. No, it's a hatchet. Hatchet. We should definitely change this order because that's going to bug me as well as like most of my fans. Like it's out of order code. Oh, I know, I know, I'm fixing, I'm fixing. Hold on. There we go. Very oddly satisfying just seeing this. Seeing it all come together finally. Hold on. I can't can't reach it. No. I'm beginning to think that the floor was a horrible spot for these axes. They all need to be hanging up somewhere. Is that coal? Get out of here, coal. Come on, coal. Come on, coal presence. Are those fire axes in the corner? They need to be over there. That's fine. We have a ton of fire axes. Fire axe was like my favorite axe um, before end times. It was the axe that I used to get all my money. <laughs> if you guys don't know what fire axes are, they get the firewood. They they make the firewood easy. Uh, you know what? I don't I don't want to do that. I don't want to clean that right now. What do we have? We have the vine axe, or the what is this called? The vine axe, overgrown axe. So we have the overgrown axe, and we have the end times axe. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my favorite axe, the fire axe. <sighs> Let's go chop down some uh, some fire trees, some lava wood. Let's do it. Lava wood. We need it. Do you guys remember uh, I'm a flying midget's rap song? I'm very proud to be in, to have been part of that. Just saying. And didn't I see him the other day? Hold up. I think I did. Code, why is there two sounds? Because the, the lumber sound has been stopped. And I'm still playing. So. Let's go. Go up to the top. Oh my gosh. It's been 28 minutes. <laughs> oh. We are out of time. Uh, may maybe I'll play next Friday. If I if I get like truly truly bored, then I will absolutely come come back inside lumber and hang out. Maybe go build something. Who knows? I feel like we need. We need a completion. It feels like this game's just not quite done, you know? With the with the ocean being out there and the the back walls over here. Like there's there's room. There's room to do more. And I can't wait to see if Defaultio does something with it. Not that he will. But I would love to see what becomes of the game. <coughs> Dang it. <laughs> Wrong direction. Oh well, that's fine. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, where I hope you've had a great Friday and you had a chance to escape the day. 
I mean, it's been 30 minutes. You feel more relaxed? I hope you do. Because that's the whole point, is to get you away from it. Get you into this world. Welcome to Lumber. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon. Uh, did I say don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe? If I didn't, I'm saying it now. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe down below. Love you guys. Outro.